Hey YouTube, I don't know if your luck is anything like mine, but if it is, you can't catch a break. That's me. As soon as I get done with one project, something breaks or something comes up, whatever, I'm always, it seems like, doing something. I can't come home and just relax and watch TV. I've always got something to do. So, today's project, as you can probably guess from what's behind me, we have a Samsung washer and dryer that is about three years old and it's been working great. We love it. They're awesome. Only problem is a washer and dryer isn't so awesome when they don't work. So the washer's fine, thank God, but the dryer has stopped drying clothes. Not sure exactly what's going on in there because I'm not an appliance guy. I've never torn into a dryer before, but I do know that when you put wet clothes in the dryer, they're supposed to come out dry, and they're not. They're coming out damp. Uh, they're a little bit warm. Everything seems to be working normally, but again, I'm not the appliance guy, but hey, neither are you if you're here looking at this. One two three four screws in the front uh, underneath the door area and back here we've got one two and then on the other side three four that we have to take out uh, the top piece will come off the front piece will pull off uh, it's held in there by clips and then we should be able to take the front door off and go from there Alright, again, so being very careful not to strip these screws out. You don't want to go too fast. Uh, that would be a bad day because you're going to wind up having, uh, having a hard time. Now we've got a total of four screws up top of the front panel, so we'll go ahead and take those out. Okay, so we've got one and two locking tabs to hold this front panel on. So all we're going to do is just kind of push those down to disengage them. As you can see, the front panel just kind of falls, falls off, so kind of be ready to catch it once you push these down. And pull this back away, disconnect our door switch, and then this has tabs at the bottom that hold it in, so just pick it up and move it to the side. Alright, so the front panel's off, and back in here, this silver box at the top is a contained unit it's a uh, two pieces of sheet metal stamped together and inside of that box is our heating element as well as our temperature sensor and our thermostat so we'll take that screw out and then uh, I guess we'll have to figure out well unclip this wiring harness as well you just press down this tab and pull it apart there done so we'll have to pull that guy out of there and uh, see what's going on hopefully we'll find uh, a bad coil or something in there so this guy right here is our heating element uh, it's got 
several screws around the outside of it. So I'm thinking that we can unscrew those and open it up and see what's going on. Uh, I did find in the bottom of the dryer pieces of coil. So the heating coil obviously broke and came into several pieces. Set that aside. So let's crack this baby open and see what's going on and we'll go from there. You can see that there was a wire a coil. It's broken. Uh, it's completely broken in half and it kind of welded itself right here. So that lead would have came to here, our other lead. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut this guy to get it out of the way. Pretty heavy wire for these cutters. Alright, so getting these wires here put back on to that guy this terminals up there that's gonna be probably the hardest part of this whole thing Alright, so just remember to connect your wiring harness back to your switch. Otherwise, uh, this goes down here to your door switch or your door sensor. If you forget that, uh, it's going to be a bad day. Alright, so before we completely snap this back in and put the top on, we're going to plug it back in and make sure everything's working. So that's a wrap. All complete. I've never been in a dryer, but now I can say that I have. I'm assuming that you probably haven't either since you're watching this. Go ahead and tackle it. Order your parts. It's not that bad. You'll get it knocked out. Save yourself some money. Job well done. Pat on the back. Thanks guys, and just remember, if there's anything here that you've liked, please leave a comment, like, subscribe to the channel, it means the world to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Bye.